Hey bestie! Welcome back to my channel and uh, if you're new here like, comment, subscribe and follow me on Instagram at wallstylishmoo and you can see more of my cat. Isn't she great? So basically I have been charity shopping non-stop since the charity shops opened on the 12th. It is now May so I've had a solid like two weeks to get a lot of charity shopping in and the damage has been severe both on my bank account and on the residual space left in my wardrobe. So I thought I might as well show you guys what I got because to be honest showing you guys the clothes I buy um, and talking about them is kind of like one of my favourite things to do. So I'm going to do that. Um, so yeah, let's get all the stuff. So this is all the stuff I got um, and I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to do a little try on um, because I think that'd be fun. I'm going to start with the first item I got and that is this like long white skirt and I got this and it was big. It was size like 18 so I just altered it to fit and I thought this was very like summery and flowy. It's a maxi skirt and I wanted a nice white one because I feel like this is like a summer staple that I just didn't own. So now I own it. This was $5.99. So the next thing I got was just this green like kind of really simple green like wool jumper that's just really like inoffensive but I thought it would be cute to wear to like the library and to study in and it's quite like semi-professional so I can wear it like to family stuff and to jobs and stuff so yeah just a very nice soft material and also um I love this colour and I can never not buy something this colour but I think this was about like 5 99 again similar sort of price it might have even been a bit cheaper so the next item I got is this like red blouse I thought this was very like 90s like Rachel Green um, sort of inspired and it actually fits really nicely it's really well tailored actually I was gonna like bring it in or like wear it like this but I think it actually looks really nice like this so like with a pair of nice low-waisted jeans I think it would look really cute so this is definitely staying and this was it's a size 14 um, which I don't really believe and it's six pounds so six pounds well spent it'd be nice for like Christmas I think or like winter sort of clothing you'll have to bear with me with this item but I love the pattern I thought it was so summery and cute and I was thinking something like this when I bought it I was like oh this would be really cute I was thinking maybe even if I could like cut enough off to like save enough for like a skirt type thing like a bikini cover-up skirt it'd be cute or like if I could make this into like a halter neck instead of a v-neck um but i just really like the print it's very like 70s and that like maximalist floral print um that's really popular at the moment and this was four pounds 75 so i was like yes i love the print so the next item i got is this blouse and it's got like this kind of geometric sort of rectangle pattern on it and it reminded me so much of motel rocks and the stuff they're selling like tied back like this I thought it just looked so much like the like square pattern top that they've got and it was very cute so I picked it up and this one cost me four pounds so I thought this is like a trend that's going around at the moment I don't have to buy it from Motel Rocks it's literally second hand and I love the like again very 70s geometric print so the next item I got is this like knit sort of um gilet vest thing with like these hearts on it and this like stripy pattern and this is from the literal kids section um but i thought it was very cute so i decided i would pick it up and yeah you can tell it's like meant to these are meant to be like little pockets but um i thought it'd be cute to wear maybe like open um but also i like it closed like it just it's a bit granny chic and just kind of cute and this was £3.50 and then the next top I got was this I Heart 90s top and I just thought this was funny um I thought it was cute I thought it'd be fun to wear as like a gym top or like a chill around the house top because it's like I do love the 90s it's not lying it's true and then this top is just like a little cute sort of kind of herringbone crochet sort of knit top moment very fun for like the beach looks great with the skirt i literally told you guys the skirt goes with everything um and she was very cute i thought like a nice little beach cover up very summery and she was three pound fifty so you will not catch me complaining about the price of this yeah that is all the top tops i got i got one jumper um it's this like 
New York jumper. It's quite big, um, but it feels very really soft on the inside. And I have been to New York, so I was like, I'll get that. Um, and she just looks like this, and I don't have a white jumper, so I was like, yes, I would, I would like that. Thank you very much. That's mine. Um, and she, I think, was also very inoffensively priced. Yeah, seven ninety nine. So eight pounds for like a brand new jumper is very doable, and I like the fit. It's like a guy's jumper, so it's very um, baggy. I've got one two piece set. So I'm going to show that to you guys next. It's like a little lemon set. So she's not like my most stylish moment, but I was thinking maybe if Saf doesn't like the top as much, I can like turn it into something else. Like I could quite easily make this top like one of those cool like bikini tops but I really like the shorts um, and like I said I mostly got this because I thought it would look good on Saf and I wasn't wrong it does look good on her she does like it and I thought it was a nice little like holiday sort of thing that we could wear and this was only $4.95 now I'm going to show you the bottoms I got and I just put a little white top on to do that so this skirt I got it because I thought it'd be cute for the summer I know that we are going through a bit of a 90s sort of thing at the moment in 2021, 90s and Y2K, and they had a lot of these like plaid skirts then, um, very like Vivian Westwood punk inspired sort of thing, so I was like this might come in style, and I also really liked it, it was big when I bought it, um, let me just check the cuttings for the price, so this was 750 so it's kind of expensive, but it is wool, so I do get that, I might make it shorter, because I think that would look cute, um, but and raw hem it but I just like how it fits I altered it to be like tight but also so that I could still wear it low waisted see if I like wear it low waisted and then roll it up and you can that's kind of what I would want it to look like sort of this sort of length um but yeah I thought this was very like grunge and would be good for like a grunge thing and then we have this skirt which I think is really cute um, I haven't altered it because it has like a little kind of tightening bit here but I was thinking I might make it shorter so that it like sits here because I've seen pictures on Pinterest of people wearing like floral skirts with floral shirts like the mesh shirts and I think they look so cute so I was like hmm and then I saw this and I was like oh that is the kind of maximal floral thing it just doesn't fit me very well at the moment I feel like it needs to like come in like this and be slightly shorter um so i'm gonna have to alter that but it'll be fine i can like alter it so that this like buckle in the back isn't there anymore or i could just alter it at the sides i don't know we'll see we'll see how it how it inspires me when i come to do it but yeah i thought this was like this was fully inspired by my princess board and i think I need to find a maximalist or like a mesh floral shirt to go with it and I found one the other day but I didn't buy it um which is dumb. Starting to lose track of like what I have and haven't shown. This floral skirt was £5.50 so very doable. And then dresses wise I picked up this black like crochet dress. It's got like a knit slip underneath that like hides my modesty and keeps me a god-fearing woman but it's got a little hole in it so I need to fix it I'd almost kind of prefer it if the black like knit underdress wasn't there obviously I wouldn't wear it with this like white top underneath but I'm just too lazy to take it off um but we all know crochet is like the biggest trend so I thought this would be really cute for like a little summer sort of beach trip as like a little bikini cover up and something I can put on when it starts to get cold because I go to the beach in Pembrokeshire which is in Wales um which is on the Pacific Ocean so it is freezing cold and um I'm always cold whenever I go like I've never been there and been very warm so um and we're going at the end of summer this year I think so I will be very very cold but it'll be fun um, and then this was just $4.95, so a trend for $4.95, I was like, yes, please. I actually think this dress is, like, my favourite thing that I got in this whole thrift haul, like, my favourite piece of clothing, anyway. And I'm currently showing it with the white top underneath, because, um, it is, as you can see, see-through. 
um, but it's just this little crochet dress. It reminds me so much of the one that like Age of Roma wore and like um, that, I can't remember the shop that sells it, like Beginning Boutique are selling those like this, but you should always try and get your crochet stuff handmade from like small businesses because it's very time soon to make. I know I made a crochet top and it took me forever. But this is it on the right way round and I'm going to show you what it looks like back to front because I kind of prefer it. So I don't know if you can tell because I have the white top on underneath but when it's back to front it like is more of a V um, which I kind of prefer but I might just like cut the label out and you can't even really see the label. Um, but I just wear this over a bikini on like summer days and like walk around or even to be honest with white or nude underwear on because I'm a filthy whore so I don't really see any qualms or wearing this out in public apart from like my mom is very visible. This was $3.99. So let's start with scarves. I know that sounds weird but I got this blue scarf which is super cute. I can't remember I think she was about three pounds. Um, I took it off because I wore it um, the day I got it because I was wearing an outfit and I was like, like my green trousers and my pastel knit jumper and I was like, this could do with a blue scarf. And then I found one and I was like, great, because I don't have any like wintry like blanket scarves. I've been seeing like Olivia Gross Herring on Instagram wear them so much. So I was like, I need one um, just to wear as it's getting warmer so but yeah I really like this one I think I'm gonna try and get more scarves and like hold on to them because they're something that you can just wear year in year out and hold on to them and never let them go because you love them deeply so the next scarf I got was this um I don't know if you can really see so I'll bring it closer it's again this sort of like herringbone pattern um very like early 2000s sort of um skinny scarf if you were to wear it like that sort of like this um but I was thinking more wearing it like um those wrap tops that are those knit wrap tops that are everywhere um I think they're originally maybe Paloma wool um and just having it like this I thought this was really cute and now I'm looking in the mirror it is very cute so sort of like this on like a beach day and it's enough thickness so that if I like wear nipple pasties and also fold the scarf right you can't see my nipples and it just about does up so I could tie that with like a hairband or something. The next scarf I got is butterflies. I'm obsessed with butterflies like actually it's a problem. Anytime I see a butterfly thing I'm like I want it um, and this was three pounds so very affordable inoffensive to my bank account. I keep saying that but every time I buy something it's three pounds. I've bought like 10 things that are £3 and then I've spent £30 so I need to stop. But I bought this because sarongs are coming back. Um, you heard it here first folks. I think they're going to look stunning this summer and they're going to be everywhere and I just thought that this sort of scarf would be very cool to just bear with. Tie like a little sort of sarong type detail onto obviously not over the scarf but just to have it like sort of over a bikini and looking like all summery um and you know like you're living your best like rich grecian vacation life but maybe you're at the local lido who cares so the next scarf i got was smaller blue very cute but again little sarong sort of moment this is way more flowy so it's kind of easier to do you can kind of see the the vision a bit better with a scarf like this i got one hat don't judge me i have a like fluffy pink gilet that i got off depop that you can see on my instagram this is brand new with tags um which is amazing i think this was this was four pounds but it was half price so this is two pounds um I just thought that this would be kind of fun to wear when it snows and with my fluffy pink um, chile thing. Let me get it down and show you the vision. So sort of like this sort of vibe but with like a white, you know, the IMG sort of skirt, the white ruched one. I'm going to try and make one because I have some white jersey material but this sort of like, you know, ski bitch sugar daddy funded vibe. 
except it cost me two pounds. And then from the same shop, I got these cute little butterfly earrings for 50p. They're just like hoops with a butterfly in them. And I'm, yeah, like I said, I'm obsessed with butterflies. And then another butterfly <laughs> themed item, I got this little um, belt with a butterfly detail on it, which I thought was very 2000s. Um, for three pounds but half price so it's one pound fifty which was amazing i'm in love with it and i'm obsessed this i got today um when i say i've been charity shopping non-stop i really mean i've been charity shopping non-stop this was one pound and 19p don't know who priced it but i hope they had fun and it's just this like little i thought it was a necklace but it's like a chain of butterflies and i thought instead of a necklace it could be a belt um because these are very cool, I love how they look, and with this outfit, I think it just adds a little pop of like something something going on around the waist, like that. I'm going to show you my like best thrift find ever, I actually cannot fathom find how I found these and how lucky I am, because I have been looking for these on Depop, eBay, Vinted, everywhere for months. I contemplated buying new ones, I contemplated buying ones for like 80 pounds, I contemplated buying different colours, but in the end of the day, these are what I wanted and these are what I got because I bided my time and found them in a charity shop and I literally grabbed them as soon as I saw them. But it's this white pair of cowboy boots. Can you believe that I found these in a charity shop? These are from Urban. I don't know what year, but phenomenal. My size, I was like exactly my size. And I was just like, um, excuse me rude that they, they just show up after i've been wanting them for so long it's like you are late but better late than never so these were 20 pounds which is kind of expensive but i've literally been wanting them for ages i've worn them so much since many instagram pictures in them and they just complete my like cottage core cowgirl vibe that i want for the summer um another pair of shoes i've been slightly obsessed with wooden sole shoes and these are the first pair of wooden sole shoes that i got and these are fairly expensive these were 12 pounds but they are like these um via uno who i've got shoes from before in, in the thrift store so i think that they're quite popular like old shoes it said they were size five and a half which is my size and they are i can vouch they do fit me um they just got the paint and red toe bit and then the silver like heel and platform and they're just really cool and they fit really well and they're really comfortable i was like how are wooden shoes comfortable turns out wooden shoes are very comfortable this pair of shoes i got for three pound at a car boot sale um so technically not a charity shop find but car boot sale find and they are i always vowed that i would hate wedges forever but i kind of like them now and i think it's the 2000s bitch in me who has decided to love all the trends she used to hate like i used to hate fluid tracksuits and now i own one and wear it fairly regularly so it's these wicker heel denim platforms and they are from um the brand south they're a size five and they were three pounds so check out your local car boot sales if you're in guildford the nut tree hill car boot sale is quite good i recommend these are a very recent purchase i got them i think a couple days ago it's these pair of like fake Birkenstocks from Shoe with these little like hibiscus daisy type details very summery very on trend I wore them today they're very cute I love them they're also very comfy and these were nine pounds so again kind of expensive they're the same place I got these shoes from so I think the people at this place just price shoes quite high but they always have quite nice shoes so it's fair enough um I have a pair like this but without flowers they're just like the Birkenstock knockoff ones but I thought these were so cute and so like on trend and summery that I was like, <laughs> I want them. So I got a few like non purse bags, which is mental because I usually never buy non purse bags. I don't really like big bags, but these ones I liked. So I got them. So I have this like stripy multicolored bag and I just thought this would be a lovely beach bag. It's very cute for like shopping and thrift shopping and you can fit a lot in here. Um, just a lot more practical and sometimes I take this and put my purse in there for pictures and then like get my purse out. I think this was four pounds but I've lost the price tag obviously because I've 
used it and the other big bag I got is this like sort of wicker rattan crocheted bag with these flower details and again I don't usually go for this sort of tote style but I thought it was very cute and I really liked it so I got it and it's very practical again great for beaches <laughs> how many times can I say beaches I haven't been to the beach in so long I don't actually go to the beach that much but I'm literally walking around acting like I'm going to the beach every day but I just thought this was cute and again fit the like chic cute beach <laughs> aesthetic if it beach aesthetic um and then we have this cute little butterfly purse so yeah this is what it looks like. It's got this beautiful butterfly on the front. It's actually got a long chain, but I kind of like trapped the chain in there so that it would be a little shoulder bag. This was £5.50, so kind of spenny for something I've trapped into being what I want it to be. But it just looks like this. I thought it'd be cute for like events where I only really need like lipstick and <laughs> that's it. But I thought it just kind of would be good for nights out. Um, and that sort of vibe or like going to a cocktail bar or going to bottomless brunch or something where you want to look a little bit bougie a little bit fancy um and have this sort of like clutch purse vibe i remember my mum has loads of these and i remember when they were the thing and people used to just walk around at events holding them and i'd be and they didn't have chains and i'd be like what is what are people doing why are their bags why do people have to hold their bags why can't they just hold their stuff but I understand it now because bags are cute and stuff is not cute. This was £3.50. We're nearing the end now, last two things. So we just have this little cute pink bag and it comes with this little cute purse. And why this stuff is so cute is because, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got little like butterflies sort of um, embossed in there and little flowers embossed. Again, it's like another <laughs> butterfly themed thing. So don't come for me and I just love the little purse because I put my keys in there and I like snap it open and get the key out and snap it shut like a little you know a little with my pink purse so this was six pounds um but it was half price so it was three pounds and then the last thing I got I am obsessed obsessed this is probably my this is my top three is the cargo boots the crochet dress and this this is like the first thing I got when the charity shops opened like it was my first thing that I picked up and I was shook by it because it is literally perfect. It's this zebra fur like um, bag with this brown like leather detail and it's got this sort of like kind of almost juicy couture like esque um, coat of arms. And this was five pounds so again very affordable and I was like that is the definition of early 2000s fashion right there is this bag so guys that is my charity shop haul since my cumulative efforts since the 12th um as you can see a very decent effort on my part um we have shoes we have tops we have dresses we have skirts we have two-piece sets we have scarves we have bags we have accessories um so yeah i have really done a number and I think made my dent in the charity shop see if you guys enjoyed this sort of format where I try it on and show you and talk about it instead of holding it up let me know let me know if you guys like this video and want to see more like clothing hauls and stuff um I've kind of accumulated some depop stuff so I might do another like monthly faves sort of thing or like what the postman brought me yeah like comment share and subscribe um say what leave what your favorite item was down in the comment box head over to my instagram to see how i like style all these properly and wear them in like life and stuff uh, it's at one stylish moo and i have a tiktok as well so i'll link that down below um yeah thank you so much for watching guys and i hope you have a great time happy charity shopping um let me know if you guys have got any cool things and send me any pictures of amazing things you got on instagram i'd love to see what you guys are picking up as well